What's up guys, Graham here with Graham's Lawn Service. Today I'm going to take you guys through our 2023 lawn mowing trailer setup. Uh, it's what we use every day to mow commercial properties as well as residential properties. I'm going to take you through all the mowers, trimmers, racks, show you the whole setup here. So, hope you guys enjoy. Alright, we're going to start over here in the back. So back here is our Skag 48 V-Ride 2. We use this machine a lot of the times in front yards, uh, normal size properties. It also fits through some gates. Um, this machine has been great for us. I think we have about 150 hours on it. Um, and so far everything's been great. Our second machine we run here is a 60 inch Skag. Uh, this one is also a V-Ride 2. This machine we use on all of our larger properties, most of our commercial properties, um, as well as some of our bigger stuff for the front yards. Our third mower here is going to be our Skag 32 inch V-Ride 2. Uh, we just picked up this machine this year. This machine has been an absolute game changer for us when it comes to small gates with big backyards. Um, it absolutely changes the game. It, it, it makes it so we don't have to push mow 90% of the time. Um, it has really helped us out tremendously. We don't use it too much in terms of hours wise, um, but the hours that we do use it, it saves us five times the time compared to push mowing. We also always carry a cooler. Uh, we got a Yeti cooler here. It's always full of water and Gatorade and things like that. We do carry one push mower. Um, it's a cheap um, residential commercial. Uh, it's a cheap residential push mower. Um, we really only use this on, I think, two or three properties. Have little spots by pools and um, some parkways and things like that where a big mower just doesn't make sense. So you do have to have it. Coming around this side here, we do have um, two five-gallon gas cans. Uh, we keep one with regular gas, and then our other one over there is our mixed gas, or 40 to 1, for all of our trimmers and blowers. Uh, we also have a hand tool rack here. As you can see, um, we carry a, a head trimmer attachment here. Uh, we also have a brush cutter. Sometimes we do larger weed whacking jobs and might need that. Brake shovels, a broom, just the regular hand tools um, that are always handy to have. We'll take you around this way. All right, guys, coming around to this side of the trailer, um, this is where we have all of our racks, all of our hand tools, blowers. Um, so in the back here, we have a uh, still BR800X. This machine, uh, this blower is great. Uh, works good for us normally starts on the first or second pole um, we also do use these green touch racks um, these have held up awesome for us no issues with those big shout out to those guys and um, they do great for us all right now for the trimmers so we carry three trimmers with us um, we normally only use about two of them as you can see the top one's got a rain cover on it uh, just because it didn't get used today um, but two trimmers one stick edger for when we have to use that um, and all of our weed whackers here are the uh, KM131Rs, as you guys can see. So these are the combi system units. Um, they're awesome. So that way we can keep these set up as the weed whacker attachments. As you can see, like this, they just connect. Um, we have all the other attachments. So when we need to use them for other jobs, it works out great for us. Working our way down this way. We have a uh, trimmer line spool. So that's conveniently located right next to our trimmers. So they can always be filled up with uh, string and we don't have any issues there. So as for the trailer itself, it is a 20 foot um, flatbed trailer and it's got two gates. So we have the rear gate here and then we have the side gate over here. And that side gate's huge because we have a 32 inch mower up there and that machine um, it only comes off on certain properties, and it's easy to not be able to have to take off the other two mowers in some of our smaller residential areas and things like that. Um, we just take that one machine off. That's been a game changer for us, uh, having that side gate. So pulling all this stuff, um, this is our older truck. This is a 2005 F-350 with the dump bed insert. Dump bed insert's been great. Um, we use that on a lot of landscape jobs and cleanups and things like that. 
Also going to use it for leaves in the fall. Solid older truck. Yeah, that's about it for our 2023 um, commercial lawn care setup for a trailer. If you guys have any questions, please leave them down in the comments. Uh, please also like and subscribe if you like this video and you want to see more videos like this in the future. Have a great day, guys.